and just quickly, where was that? I wanted to go to that video. Did you see that talk sport video? Yeah, that's it there. See this? I needed to talk about this because I feel like this is something we need to talk about. It's kind yeah, of... go on, play, play the full video and then we'll have a little discussion. As a sporting director, I used to do this a lot. So I used to call up a club, big club, and say, right, can you put in a bid in? And that would get my owner to, to basically put a yeah. higher bid in. It's a bit like an auction, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. I don't think Manchester City actually want to sign Declan Rice. I think what's going on here is Arteta's picked up the phone to Pep, said, listen, you know, Arsenal are going to do the sort of incremental bid approach. If you put a higher bid in, that will push my owner to... to I, I think there's a bit of that what, going on here. What, for speed then? They just want it to happen quicker? Well, for speed, but to get the deal done. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, West Ham obviously want a, a certain valuation. I think well, why, I read 120 why million. Why just go and pay it then? Well, why this is the thing. I don't know why Arsenal are doing this incremental but, approach. But it, it's, it says to me that Man City coming in sort of later on, it feels like they're trying to, you know, it's going to help Arsenal. Because the fans are going to get on it now and say, hold on a second, Declan Rice, if you let Declan Rice go to Man City when he was our number one target, that says a lot about Arsenal. Well, so I, I think there's a bit of that going on. I used to do it all the time I and it, and it used to work. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, she used to actually be an agent. Uh, sorry, she used to work at Manchester City, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the football team, the women's team. And she used to do like transfers and stuff. And that's what she said she used to do. So when I seen this, people are saying, Egal, you're delusional to believe this. But don't you guys think there's some level of truth to this? Or, do, or, or people think people are just stupid? I'm confused. Like, what do, do what do people think about this? Because, like, I want to know. Because for me, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. But I thought it would be more from West Ham's side of things. Could West Ham just tell Man City to bid? Or could West Ham just be feeding us information that's not accurate in the news just to put pressure on Arsenal? I don't know. What do you think? I was unmuted. <laughs> I was actually unmuted myself. Uh, no, I think that's... Personally, I think that's... I think it's unlikely that Arteta would do something like that. I think he's a very professional man. Uh, I'm not sure he would do something like that. Um, I think that's just a lot of sort of talk and hot air. It would be nice to believe that because obviously you want the deal to be done quicker and you want us, you want, of course, we want the player to be done and be signed and be Arsenal. And obviously you'd do anything to get Ar to get Declan. I would do, well, I'd, I hope that was, that'd be true so that we would get him quicker. But I know how Arteta is and he's a very respectable person. So I don't think he'd be doing these sort of weird mind games, texting Pep going, oh, he'd do us a favour, put in a bid and speed it up. Because I'm not, I'm not sure that's our, the way Arteta, Arteta works. But you know what? I think West Ham would do stuff like that. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, the amount of things they probably leaked to the media that probably was, was half true, not really true. But yeah, well, you saw the article literally a minute ago. They 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 want uh, what was it one hundred and fifteen same sort of value as as Jude, when before we all know for a fact before uh, the sort of conference league campaign and uh, in the January window they were asking for eighty million. That was sort of their sort of benchmark. Now they're asking for what an extra thirty five million on top of that. Yeah. So I think it's a lot. Of that, them sort of stories I sort of try and steer clear because. Yeah, I don't think there's much truth to that. Okay, fair enough. Let's ask you guys, did you see the talk sport thing? Did you see the oh, thing? Did you see the that's... thing talk sport? Uh, oh, wow, news. What's this? Expectations course, two clubs question, Arsenal, Man City, possible third bidder coming in. West Ham have a benchmark and they want to reach. And that's what Andrew. Madrid paid for wow. Drew Bellingham. 150 so they're raising the price all of a sudden i think that's just probably being fed to the media of course they're gonna demand is, yeah for anyone who doesn't know west ham have a vested interest to continuously push news to the media to try to drive the price up as much as possible they're trying to sell a player for more money 100%. Everyone, needs, everyone needs to understand everything you read is most of the time it's coming from the team that's trying to sell the player Arsenal, really? the only time I seen them push that we're trying to get Declan Rice was in January last year. I haven't really seen them say too many things that I would feel like are Arsenal links. No, you're right. I think why would Arsenal report the bids? Why would Arsenal report our bids? Why would Arsenal report that we're about to make a third bid? 
Yeah, no, you're right. I think that's why you've got to be very careful with the media. Um, I, I don't think any club will pay that sort of money for Declan. Well, I'll be very surprised if they do. And, and here's another report. West Ham have a verbal offer from two clubs more than 90 million turned down from Man City. It's hoping that the bids will be formally made in writing for the, in the next one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so one of those has to be Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Manchester United would bid that much money? I don't think so. I don't think they will. I think there's a lot of uncertainty with the owners and what's going on there. It's got. Would, did do you think Bayern would have be that other club? No, I doubt it. I know. I know that there was interest early on in the window, but I think there was reassurances from the player side that, despite him saying he wants to only be in London, he also says he only wants to really be in England. So, I think it'd be really, really interesting one to watch. I re, I'm, I'm still very confident that our, that we that we land Declan, but Manchester City is a dangerous opponent to come up against in a bidding war. So. Yeah. And you know some thank you for watching Eagle Talks Football. Hopefully you enjoyed that clip. Now let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section. Make sure you do hit that like button as we try to get past at least 100 likes on all the videos. And also, let me know. Did you watch the full video? Because the link is in the description. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. We're out of here.